I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. This exercise is a great way to test your instincts. When you get your drawn hand and you look at the tiles, you've got to figure out the best direction to go. And every decision that you make during the Charleston can impact the next. That's why I call this exercise Charleston Chain Reaction. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. Let's roll to see which seat we're in. I rolled a 10, so we're going to be at seat 2. Non-dealer. So we're going to get 13 tiles, and then I'm going to create a Mock Charleston Sans Jokers. Okay, we have a joker, a flower, a white dragon, and an east. Then we have a bunch of cracks, four, six, and a two. No multiples. So we're going to pick a category that will use as many of these as possible. We have, these could really be used in several categories maybe even a year hand, and we have a two and a nine. We do have two twos, so I think a year hand might work. I don't know about East wins in general, but there is one hand in the year category that uses news. So there is some potential there. Then we have three, five, seven, nine odds. We have two, eight, Four, six, two. So there's two, four, six, eight odds and the year potential. I think that the year or odds are the two strongest. Let's try for a year hand first. And then the second time around, we'll see if odds is better. For the year, we have one, two, three, four, five, six tiles we could potentially use. For odds, we have one, two, three, four. Evens, one, two, three, four, five. Maybe evens would be better. Let's do the year the first time around and then evens the second time around since there's one more tile towards the even category. I'm going to take a photo so that we can recreate this. So we're going to keep year tiles and we'll pass. Maybe those. Let's see what happens. We're looking for year tiles. We're going to take a photo of that. We got a two, a nine, and a north. There's some news potential. And look, we have tiles we can pass. We still don't have to pick a hand. Let's take a photo of that. We got a west. We almost have news. So, we have two tiles to pass. We're on first left. We could potentially pass blind, but we don't even know what hand we're playing. This is when you pick a hand and try to whittle down some of these optional tiles so that we can pass. So since we have a 2-9 and a 2-9, let's pass the 2. Part of me was thinking we could play the big year hand, the biggest hand on the card in the singles and pairs category, but we would have to throw away a joker. I'd rather use it. 
So let's pass the two. We'll take a photo of that. We got our first multiple. Reassess. This is the strongest year group. These, not so much because of that multiple. So let's pass, let's pass these three. Take a photo and we got a keeper. 2019 with news. Now we're on the cross pass. We have no gaps. I would risk passing like numbers in this case. Take a photo of that. I would not pass like numbers twice. I would want to pass one blind. We got an east, which we don't need, and we can pass fully for optional cross. I forgot to take a photo. Okay, here we go. So we have tiles we can pass. Four discards for 2019 with the year. Four discards. Let's recreate this and see if evens will have a better result. Just remember, four discards. That's what we started with. So let's see if evens was a better choice. So there is one hand in the even category that uses a dragon, but it's the same suit. I suppose we could do two, four, six, eight and dots. Let's just see what happens. I'm going to recreate the Charleston now. Okay, there's the Charleston. So let's pass seven, three east. Let's see if we can get some evens. There's a two. Just keep them all. We don't have to even look at the card. We're just gonna gather till we run out of discards. There's six. We still have tiles to pass, so we don't have to pick a hand. We got a red dragon. We have mostly dots though. And that dragon hand in evens uses the same suited dragon. There's an eight dot, an eight crack. We have one tile to pass. This is when you pick a hand. Here's two, eight, two, four, six, eight, and then a white dragon. I think we can get rid of the two bam. There are two hands that we could play here. The first one is the fourth hand down, a pair of flowers, Kong of twos, four, six, eight. So there's seven tiles, not including the Joker, which we can use in both. So seven tiles. The other option is the hand with dragons. Six tiles, one less. That would be the next hand down. Pair, Pung, Kong, Pung, Pair. We need one tile to pass. So I think what I would do here is go for the one that uses more tiles, even by one tile. 
let's pass the eight because we could still go back to two, four, six, eight and recover in the picking and discarding phase of the game. So let's pass these three. We're gonna go for set the hand that is the third from the bottom. No keepers. Let's pass the two dot. No keepers here either. Let's pass these three and optional cross. No keepers. So we have five discards for two, four, six, eight. We could maybe use the Joker to help with the two, but it's very light. Eight tiles, five discards. I think the year was better. Only four discards for the year. So I think either one would work, but the year was better by one tile. Every little bit helps. Sometimes your instincts are better than what the tiles say. For American Mahjong, I think that building around multiples is the strongest strategy, but when you are going through the Charleston, at times you can see the same tiles coming through and that's where instincts come in. Trust your instincts, but leverage the strengths of the tiles that you have. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Charleston chain reaction for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.